Amitabh Singh Gupta is a Kolkata-based artist, born in 1941. His passion towards art began as a young child and led him to go College of Arts and Crafts, Calcutta where he graduated from. He received the French go scholarship to study painting, printmaking at Ecole des Beaux-Arts, Paris and has traveled extensively for work and art while experiencing more in-depth, gaining knowledge about the local art wherever he was then. Going back in time one can see that lines played an important role as man was able to relate the same to what he saw in nature and communicate through connecting lines forming a visual dialogue which was essential for not just his survival but also his mind's quest for more knowledge. Hieroglyphs, pictograms, Brahmi, yet so many more scriptural forms developed as man went on further to develop the language of writing. Amitabh's works travels one back in time to the beginning of scriptural languages and also to the ancient and medieval periods of art continuing into the modern and contemporary where inscriptions have been a part of multifarious art forms. Script on a work of art has its own space and life. It gives the painting not only depth and meaning but also a feel of mystery and poetry. The geometrical forms converging into the formless and revealing a story within, powerful, lyrical, mystical and dreamy, boundaries of boundlessness encapsulated into nothingness captures us calling upon our innate essence to experience the primordial. The palette used is muted, earthy, neutral, cool and warm. The technique and application of medium is puissant and speaks of the artist's proficiency in expression. Nature showered man with abundance for survival but man's greediness and want has no end as he continues to be destructive taking more than necessary digging deep into the boom of the earth. Amitabh's landscapes explore the mutual aspects of man and nature both creating and destroying each other and reinventing themselves to begin anew. The journey of man through the ages is visually presented to the viewer to contemplate upon. This video is part of the project initiated by Hinavart. Hinavart Art Venture. The project reflects certain aspects of time, especially for the past two years. The economic life in our society has never been so uneven. Well, when you think about the larger society is, of course, the issue. But uh, young artists all over India, I find, they are in a very severe strain. So, thinking about that, Hina's initiative with these activities 
is very welcome. As I understand, uh, many of the young artists and senior as well are part of these, as I am. So, greetings to Hina, the organizers, and of course my fellow artists. My work has a sort of uh, a mental background, of course, a, an idea of theme, or but it's mostly very vague, and uh, I don't depend on that. Uh, what I do mostly, I take a white canvas, I throw color, and start putting colors, and that initiates a kind of auto guidance and uh, the process uh, is purely abstract it may it may move towards some kind of forms suggestive forms uh, or not uh, actually the process of painting dripping the colors the shapes it forms uh, takes me to a journey so the painting moves towards a kind of uh, destination of its own choice as the colors are shaping marching flowing into each other then I want to create a kind of contrast so uh, in this process, I don't uh, throw uh, trans I mean, liquid colors, I throw more opaque colors from the ink or something else. Uh, I may even spray something uh, which will eventually break the surface and create another zone. At this stage, I bring the linearity. Uh, it may start with splashes uh, from ink bottles, uh, a suggestive lines, and a kind of tonal zone uh, from color to lighter space. When the colors and the spacing and the tonal variations uh, give me a telltale sign of the composition, the structure, so it gives me idea of putting impressions of uh, textures and slowly creating the space of the composition. As I am painting, uh, throwing colors or creating lines with tubes directly, there is certain elements of memory. Uh, I have seen something, uh, a texture, a color or light effects, etc., etc., in my real life. So. Uh, I really cannot say that. I, I know it is happening in my mind, but I cannot define that uh, uh, which event, uh, which zone really affected my choice of color. In my recent tour in the Kodai Canal, uh, forest and the flowers, they have a prominent role and uh, especially the colors, some of the colors are mm, incredible. So I'm obsessed with some certain color, but uh, uh, at the same time, I must say that uh, it's not exactly the same color or the same texture that is on my canvas. My canvas is different it has its own 
homogeneity and process. Again, uh, paneling is a very common process uh, in my works nowadays, which I have derived from the uh, Indian tradition. Uh, as they are on the temple fridges or folk art. So paneling is a, is a very essential process that uh, defines events uh, and uh, provides a larger context of the theme. And of course, Indian art has given me understanding the line, the role of line. So line and inscriptions, writing scripts of my own, uh, which are not readable at all, but sometimes I apply some of the uh, old scripts like Rami or Pali something, but now uh, all these things have merged into my spontaneous process because I'm not much thinking anymore when I'm writing. Linearity, color, tones, they have no light and shadow process of the Western arts. In my process, it is all sort of mixed up the European language, Indian language, or whatever I am. I don't follow the strict nomenclature of art terminologies as are taught in the art colleges. Uh, we are stuck with those uh, words like abstract art, realistic art, installations, and all those things are coming up, and conceptuals. Uh, you know, the art writers, they need certain kind of uh, categories. I mean, that is the Western process of history, categorization. I see life merging from one experience to another what is real becomes abstract we cannot live without abstract elements we cannot express anything <clears throat> without abstract elements for example if i say yellow it is just abstract concept when i say yellow wall it's specific it is concrete realistic but how can i avoid both in my life negative and positive both are part of my existence and my expressions